my journey from being a young lad was, uh, you know, watching my dad play golf, you know, and that got me hooked on the game of golf. And, you know, I, I, I just remember from like a really, really young age going down to the Southport Municipal, which is where I started. And we used to play every single summer, you know, through the summer holidays, if there was light, you'd play. And, uh, you know, it, it got quite competitive. There was, um, you know, my brother was a good player. I had a couple of friends that lived down the road that played golf. And we were just there every minute of every single day. And I think, uh, you know, the journey from there has been, it's just been hard work. You know, it's been, um, you know, going out there, practicing every single day, just hitting as many balls as I can and, and just working as hard as I possibly can, you know, which is a lesson I try and, and tell other juniors when they ask me for any advice. I always say to them, you know, if you're going to work hard, there's, there's another level, you know, and I certainly hit that level when I was a young kid. And then sort of winning at every single level, you know, managing to win at Euro Pro Tour level, you know, won tournaments there, won the Order of Merit, won Challenge Tour, won the Order of Merit. And then when I got on the European Tour and managed to win my first European Tour event, I felt like I'd almost hit the pinnacle of golf, you know, winning at the top level, which it was in my eyes. Um, and then obviously winning the second time was even better. But, um, you know, that's kind of been my journey, really. And hopefully there's more wins left in me. Uh, that one shot that comes to mind would be the chipping probably on the 17th in, in Russia, which was my second European Tour win. Uh, I, I hit it on the bank on the left-hand side of the green, had no shot whatsoever, no green to work with. I, had a, I think I had a one-shot lead at the time, um, so I knew it was quite important to, to get it up and down. You know, the guy that was one shot behind me was on the green about 20 feet away and I chipped in. And, um, you know, if I, if I was to go back there now and try and recreate that shot and be there all day, you know, it's just one of them, you know, great shots at the right moment and it sealed the tournament for me. Um, so, yeah, I can't think of any, any other shot that stands out more than that one. I think the, the, the thing I like most about the Golfino range, uh, the clothing in general, is it's just, it's very, very smart. You know, I've, I've spoke to a lot of guys that have owned a pair of Golfino trousers or a t-shirt and they were always there, special trousers or special t-shirts. And um, it's just a really classy brand. You know, it fits well. The materials are really, really high quality. Um, you know, it's something I've, you know, when it was mentioned that I could be wearing Golfino this year, I got quite excited about it because I've seen a couple of guys out on tour wear the product before and it was very, very smart. And I always ask, you know, where do you get that where do you get that product from? So you can imagine how excited I was when I actually, you know, had the chance to wear it. Um, but it's so far from the clothing I've I've worn, it just it just feels like it's like velvet on your skin almost, you know, it just feels it feels right, you know, it, it's got a little bit of stretch in it, so you know, you don't have to go to the gym every day to wear it, which is great as well. But I, I just think in general, it's a really, really nice product. And um, yeah, like I say, very, very excited to be wearing it.